Hello fellow homeschoolers. I know it's been quite a long time since I've made any videos here on my channel. I just thought I would go ahead and drop a video right now on what we used for my daughter's third grade year. I'm going to start with this first video and as you can see it's of our math curriculum. So for third grade we decided not to go with with uh, the good and the beautiful that we had actually used for K through two. I decided against the good and the beautiful just because I wanted something a little bit more rigorous <clears throat> and something that would really, really help my daughter perfect those math facts, okay? Abeka is very well known for helping children to perfect their math facts and this is something I thought my daughter really needed in order to set her up for mathematical success, okay? Math facts, in my opinion, as someone who has part of her degree in mathematics, uh, math facts, in my opinion, are vital to being successful in more advanced math classes, right? So arithmetic three is what my third grader is doing. Sorry about the noise in the background. That's my dishwasher. Anyhow, arithmetic three is what we went with. What it's comprised of, if you're doing parent-led without the videos, like me, I recommend getting the curriculum lesson plans. We also have, of course, the work text. This is the book that the student works out of. And then the work text teacher key, which is always nice to have because you are able to check the work of your student very fast. Uh, I also do recommend getting these arithmetic three to six tables and fact charts. What this is is basically what it says. They're multiplication and division tables. And then some facts in the back of addition and subtraction, multiplication and division, like mixed facts um, for them to work on. Okay. Also here we have the arithmetic three teaching charts. These we use a ton. So I've seen comments and questions on different Abeka community Facebook pages. Sorry, that's my birds. <laughs> Anyhow, and a lot of people ask, do I really need these math charts? If you're doing parent-led, I really recommend the math charts, both sets, okay? Because I have used these over and over and over again with my daughter. So some of them we don't use so much, <laughs> like these in the beginning. I also didn't really use these because I just draw out my own graphs. When it says uh, fill out a graph, I just draw it on our board, okay? Now these other ones, we use this one a ton, all of the rest of them we use a ton, okay? Especially the ones with the measurements. These we use over and over and over again. Okay. So these are just some of the charts that are included. This is the rest of the Roman numerals behind that paper. Okay, and also some on back. Again, this is a graph. We don't really use that one. I just draw it on the board. Place value chart. Just the tons of charts that they include. This one is very, very helpful for helping the child remember the steps uh, when it comes to converting certain measurements. Okay. And just a lot of very useful graph, um, charts, I'm sorry. <laughs> Using my mind here, okay? Then in the back they have like some calendar stuff that you can use. I didn't use any of their calendar charts in here. There's like maybe five or so. I didn't use any of these. We have our own calendar system that we use for homeschooling. But anyhow, I just keep these in a nice little binder. One of these, very helpful. Whenever we need it, I can just flip and use. Okay, aside from that, I also did decide to get the quiz test and speed drills. So I got them here inside. And then that's the key, okay? What these look like, I'll go ahead and show you really quickly. Let's see. It's what they look like. Very short and sweet. So they'll tell you, you know, pull out speed drill number 94 for lesson 94. Okay, there it is. Just a small number of problems for them to do, and they're given a certain amount of time, three minutes. Okay. I know there are some children, they don't do good with time. Well, scratch off the time, don't do it, I guess. Okay. But this is where you'll find all of the tests quizzes, and speed drills right in this book. You might be wondering what is this. On the back of each of these uh, speed drills here, 
they have the option for when the child is finished with their speed drill. Of course, this is like for a classroom setting, right? They would be able to go ahead and spend some time on the back working on that coloring for a little while while they wait for the other students to catch up if they finished early. But we also use these as well um, for my daughter. What I do, I get for the speed drill. She finishes it when she's done, whatever amount of time is left from the speed drill. Like let's say this one, she had two minutes, she finishes it in 45 seconds. So she has a minute, 15 seconds left from that time. I'll add another five minutes to that and she can use that six minutes and whatever left over to work on one of these coloring pieces here. Okay. And that's how they look. So they're all basically the same, just different uh, material. And I really like the speed drill key. Having this is very convenient because there's all your answers. You can just go ahead and check extremely fast. You don't have to sit there and work out all the problems on your own. Just finished, right? Another thing they have you do is what's called the rapid calculation practice. My daughter loves these cards. What the rapid calculation practice is basically is what it says, rapid calculation. So they'll tell you, let's say you're on lesson 37. They'll say rapid calculation 37, RCP 37. You just pull it out. You read these to the child, three times seven minus 10. They'll calculate it, tell you 11, okay? Now, if your child can't do it that quickly and you want to break it down like 3 times 7, they say 21, you say minus 10, they say 11, then go ahead and do it like that until your child gets up to speed and is able to calculate more quickly. Okay, but these are great. And it has a bunch of different calculations. It has equations they work out and, of course, a lot of word problems as well. Whenever they give you word problems, they never give you more than 3. Okay. Uh, another thing that comes with this if you decide like to get a full kit. Another thing that would come with this would be the concept cards, okay? I also decided to go ahead and get the classroom coins. I'll show you these in a second. The division flashcards and the multiplication flashcards. There's also the um, option to get like the subtraction and addition flashcards, which I also have. And I'll just show you how all these cards look. So the Abeka flashcards are pretty nice, okay? That's the front, the back here with the answers for you. And when you guys work on them, you basically just flash a certain number of cards up at the child. They say the answer, you move on, okay? And they'll tell you, today we're working on multiplication and division flashcards, you know? Or today work on the mm, seven tables, you know, something like that. And you just pull out the cards you need for that. Now this here, this is a concept card. So I showed you that big box, the concept cards. This is what a concept card is. It's basically, they have different types of cards. They have cards in here that go over numbers and place value, things like that, okay? They have cards that go over different measurements, all right? Tons of cards that go over measurements, I'll show you. My daughter has already memorized all of them except these last two on um, miles to yards and miles to feet. Those are the only two she hasn't mastered yet. But all the rest of them she has. And these are them, just tons. It's like a whole bunch in here. All right. They also have ones on temperature as well. And like I said, for the flashcards, here are the division cards. There's some more concept cards beneath, and then these are addition and subtraction flashcards down here. Okay, for the addition and subtraction, I just pulled out the ones that I, you know, thought she needed to know. I haven't refreshed them in a while, so I haven't gone through them and taken out the cards that she's extremely fast on um, in quite a while. So they're still easy ones in there, like four minus two. But anyhow, we do those cards very often. They also include from the concept cards, some fraction cards, and just a ton other. Like, you really use those concept cards. If you're going to buy this curriculum, you really need those concept cards. Um, again, classroom coins. I'll show you what these look like. I decided to buy these. These were not part of the kit. I just thought they would be pretty neat. They're pretty cheap. So I bought them. It's literally just 
very large pieces of coin. Okay. And I use these because then I can hold up some coins and quickly have her calculate them. So I could like throw up a quarter or this is a half dollar, throw up a half dollar and then have her add on a quarter to that. And then maybe have her add on a nickel or a dime to that just by flashing the next coin. Okay. And we do that quite a bit. It really helps her with uh, adding coin and getting more confident in doing that. Okay. Then, of course, like I showed you, division multiplication. Um, now, some things that did not come with this kit were these two things. So I've been using these two for a few years now. This is our realistic money in here. My daughter really loves working with this. Sometimes they'll say, um, let's work on money today. Review this money. Have the child, you know, count out however much money, you know. So I just use this. I use the realistic money. My daughter loves using it. And it works very well. And then our clock here, like I said, we've been using it for a few years. We continue to use it because there's a lot of clock practice, a lot of time and money practice with Rebecca, a lot of, you know, math facts practice. Very, very, very good curriculum in my opinion. Okay. So yeah, that's basically what comes with it. What I recommend, I recommend getting all these things. If you're someone who doesn't like doing quizzes or tests, I mean, you know, that's up to you. Uh, but the speed drills, I think, are very, very essential in helping your child learn to calculate really quickly. Uh, and if you don't want to get those, then at least really get these rapid calculation cards uh, because it includes, you know, calculating similar ways that are on the speed drill. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and flip through a few of these books real quick. What do these curriculum lesson plans look like? Let's open it up. <clears throat> we open it up. There's some stuff in here I don't even use. Um, daily schedule, scope and sequence. You can go ahead and look at that if you like. They give like a suggested schedule if you're using all the curriculum, sample calendars, parent overview. If you get this curriculum, read the parent overview. It was very helpful in understanding what I'm supposed to do and how all this works. They even give like grading um, scales and everything. If you do grading, some people don't. Okay. And then here come your daily plans. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go to something more near where we are. So let me go something we already did. Okay. So for example, this day here, let's see what we got. They tell you what things they want you to prepare. Okay. And what things we're working on. So our objectives, this day we were recalling products or quotients for the 2 to 7 multiplication division tables and relating Arabic and Roman numerals. Pretty simple. And then they have you write some things on the board. So they tell you exactly what to write on the board. You write these problems down, of course, without the answers. And your child will solve those problems as they come up in the lesson. Okay. But you'll go ahead and write those down on the board. Or on a piece of paper, whatever you like. They tell you what materials you're going to need that day. Some of these things I don't do. So there are some activities or games in the back, like beat the clock. And some of the activities are geared like more toward a classroom because you're competing like against other kids. And you could do that if you have many kids that you're homeschooling and, you know, you're able to like put them in the same grade and have them compete against each other. That could be really fun. But for third grade, I'm just homeschooling one child. So doing some of the games are kind of out of our reach. We can't do them, but it doesn't hurt. Like not doing them doesn't hurt anything, okay? As long as you're doing all the other work. So then they tell you, okay, make sure you have your test and speed drill page. Make sure you have your speed drill key to check the test or the quiz or the speed drill. Um, scrap paper for the child for whatever reason. Arithmetic page. So this is the page. They're going to remind you of what page you're going to work on in the arithmetic book at the end as well after you're done teaching the lesson. Then they also say, here are some visuals you should probably have. Okay. So we should have our two to seven tables, flashcards, that is, the rapid calculation 82, and then some arithmetic teaching charts on linear measures and Roman numerals, and then some concept cards. And they'll tell you which numbers. 
okay? And it seems kind of complicated if you've never done this. And yeah, the first week, it's going to take some getting used to. But after that, you kind of understand what they're talking about and you can go really quickly. And you already also get the gist of what you're supposed to do anyway. So you're able to start preparing the stuff without reading all, you know, all of this. Anyhow, so you're, usually they start with a quick warm up with working on your flashcards. So in this case, division and multiplication flashcards. And then they'll go on to the rapid calculation practice, which are these cards here. So you'll go ahead and work on one of those sets really quickly. Uh, that's lesson 82, so you would look for the one for lesson 82. Okay, work on that real quick, just take us a few minutes. And then the speed drill. Speed drills usually take no more than two or three minutes. That's it. Okay, you can check it right then, really fast, or set it aside and check it after. After that, you go on to a review. The reviews are also pretty quick. That's just them working out these problems. This is a review. Look, literally two problems in that review. Two. Okay? Easy. Then we go to the measures. And this is where your charts come. So chart number 19 they wanted you to bring out, which was on linear measures. Okay? So you'll bring out that chart, and you'll have it available as you guys work through some problems. Okay? And then it says B right here. Work measurement conversion problem step by step. And here are the measurement conversion problems. See this little pencil? B, B. So this is where you're going to work on those problems. Okay. After that, my phone is not so clear. I really apologize. After that, the actual instruction for the day is going to be on Roman numerals. Now this looks like a whole ton of stuff. The only thing you're going to say is what's in the dark black print, the bold print. So it's telling you things like points and numbers are problems on the border paper. I don't really think you need a reminder to do that. It's kind of common sense that you're going to point at things that you wrote on the board. Okay. And then the things you would say verbatim, if you want, uh, are the things in bold print. Okay. Very simple. This is like all the teaching. Okay. If you want to add to it, go ahead. If you don't need everything take out whatever you want to do but I kind of just read it all sometimes I already know what I want to say anyway and I just go with it so that's all that you would read um, there'll be questions in here and wherever the answer is so you would say this question were they invented before or after Christ was born for this question you wait for the kids answer and they should say something like before right all right and that's how it is going all throughout there's going to be like a dialogue between you and the child. You're going to describe the topic, show an example or whatever, and then ask questions back and forth, okay? So that the child could respond and you know that they're understanding what concept you just taught. After that, that instruction takes like, I don't know, maybe five minutes, ten minutes, depends on you and your kid. It's not very long, okay? After that comes the application, which is basically the workbook pages. So this one says open up to page 163, 164. So you would just grab the workbook here and you would open to that page. I've already ripped those pages out so they're not in here. But you would just open it up, rip the page out if you want, or work, you know, directly in the book if you want. And just do those two pages, okay? And that's it. You're finished. Okay, there's also a little brain booster down here sometimes that you guys can work on, which are just like word problems or, you know, just thinking questions, put on your thinking caps type questions. All right. So this is extremely crucial if you're doing parent led. Okay, this is where the huge bulk of the actual lessons are. As you see, this work page is just like a tiny portion of the actual teaching for the day. So I know some people are like, oh, we're not going to get the curriculum lesson plans. We're going to use a Becca, but we're not getting any of the materials. We're just getting this book and we're just going to use it. We're going to teach from here and that's enough. <sighs> well, I mean, my opinion is that you're not going to get what you should get out of this curriculum if you're doing that. Okay, I know there are people who do that. And if you're doing it because you were going to use a Becca, this workbook just has something supplemental and not as your core, then I guess that's fine. But if you're using this as your core curriculum, you want to have everything in order to 
really help teach your child, right? To benefit from the curriculum. You won't benefit from it to its fullest extent without these pieces, okay? So uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and show you what this book looks like. A lot of pages of power have already been ripped out because we finished them, okay? As you see, it's page 185 already, all right? And this is what it looks like. Nice colors. The top of every single page has a recap of whatever the child learned, uh, kind of like a reminder. Hey, this is what you learned today. You know, don't forget. Here's your reminder with some example problems just in case. Okay. And the way the worksheets work here is you have them take out their worksheet. They'll go ahead. You can have them read this section. I always have my daughter read this section because I just want her to get used to that, you know. Um, and then after that, they'll have a few problems that review the concept you just learned. They don't give a whole ton on the concept you just learned. They just give like four, five small problems on the concept you just learned. Because this concept is going to be spiraled around. It is going to be reviewed every day for several days until the concept is nailed. Okay? And then it will become one of the concepts that is considered a review. Kind of like this one here. Okay, this is a concept they learned way back when, and it's just constantly reviewing through over and over in the different lessons. Okay, so like I said, this will be the application of the concept that child just learned. And then after that, they like to put some story problems so the child can work on uh, mastering how to work on and understand those story problems. There is also a lesson toward the beginning of the curriculum teaching. How do I solve a story problem? What are the steps? What am I looking for? Okay. And then after that, like I said, review. This is review of a past lesson. And the whole back here, this is all review of a past lesson. Okay. And then the bottom, they give homework like every, I don't know, every so many lessons. They'll give this little homework section. Okay. We don't really do it as quote unquote homework. Like, okay, you're done. Save that for homework. Nope. My daughter just goes ahead and she works on it right then and there. Bam. Done. Okay. And that's it. Um, there really are not that many problems. This is third grade. So you want more practice. Okay. Uh, but I don't think this is overwhelming. I don't think it's overwhelming at all. It hasn't overwhelmed my daughter. She doesn't feel it's too much. But... If, you know, your child, if you want, what you can have your child do, let's say you finish the whole curriculum lesson, plans lessons, and then you're like, okay, sorry, train outside. <laughs> I live right in front of the train. Okay. Well, you can always just have them do what I occasionally do, have my daughter do the front of the page, and then that's it. Stop and tell her, okay, save the rest for later. You can do this this evening on your own since it's all review anyway. So that's another option. All right, so let me close that. Of course, here now is the teacher key. What is the teacher key? It's just an exact replica of the student workbook with all the answers in it. That's all it is, okay? Uh, if you wanna go without this, you can, but you might wanna be 100% sure that you are able to quickly check your child's work that they've completed in their workbook uh, right away and that you yourself know how to do all the problems and get the correct answers every time if you're going to be correcting their work without that. Okay, so that's up to you if you want to get that or not. But it makes it very easy to grade your kids' work, so I don't really see why you wouldn't get it. You know, you can buy it secondhand um, online. There are so many groups out there selling a lot of these things like all the teachers keys and whatnot for a low secondhand price like usually you could save 50 to 75 percent buying it secondhand so okay that's an option all right so that's basically it i've showed you everything that comes with the math i know this was a longer video but i really wanted you to see uh what we used for math this year and what it looks like Okay. If anyone is looking for a third grade math, I highly recommend a Becca's third grade, especially if you have a kid who's good at math. Maybe the program you're currently using is too easy for them, or you think that they can, uh, you know, handle more of a challenge, right? Because 
you know, there is a little bit of challenges here and there. Abeka is, uh, as what I've heard, is a more advanced curriculum, I guess. Um, it's suiting my daughter very well. So if you think this would be good for your child, then go for it. Okay. I will have some more videos coming up soon of the other subjects that we did use in third grade, as well as I will have an unboxing of what we're using for fourth grade. Okay, that's it for today. Have a great one and bye-bye.